Michael Lindsay, tell us a little bit about what you got going on here in your booth. Yeah, so right now we have the Swell Pro drones. So those are one of our biggest sellers. We're the number one dealer in the United States for them. Um, we're also a warranty and repair facility at our at our store. We do it in-house. Everything is done right there. We don't ship them off. Um, we also have some Avits on sale. So we have Gen 1s and Gen 2s. Um, LXs and SXs, that's one of the main things that we carry in our store. So um, our store is located in Clute. Clute, Texas. Yes, Clute, Texas, right off of um, 332 on your way to Surfside, Freeport. Um, we do rod repair, reel repair. Um, we build custom rods. Like I said, we repair drones. We do um, drone classes as well. Wow. And so. how can people get a hold of you? Where can they find you? Yep, so you can find us on Facebook, Hooked on Tackle, um, or we have a website, which is shop.hookedontackle. And then you can call us at 979-266-9104. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank, Thank you, Lindsay. you. Alicia Corville, check out who we found. Kelly, l and Lures, what's going on here, brother? What's going on, guys? Been a good good time here. Uh, we got some custom-painted lures, one of a kind, only one in the world. If you have a favorite color that you're confident in, we can paint it for you. It doesn't matter if it's weak, white with pink polka dots. If you like it, we'll make it, and you catch all the fish. There you go, man. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, website, l and Facebook, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. It's, we're all over social media, so guys, you got to check out his stuff. It's some awesome lures. Yes, brother, sir. Appreciate, appreciate it, it yes, guys. Sir. Check this out. Check how we found a Texas rattler. What's going on, brother? Hey, man, we're just here having fun and uh, kind of introducing some of our new products. One is a Cork Max, which I, I can show you through here. It's a slow sinking jig. And it's made out of cork with cork, not lead. Oh, cool. So you can work that window of water, whether it's six inches or ten inches, you can Attention. keep that up above the grass. The show is Another thing I came out with God is our 132nd ounce jigs. And this is going to be good for those paddle tails. You're going to be able to, you know, keep it cruising right across the top of the grass beds too in that shallow water. How do people get a hold of you? Where do they go? Uh, TexasRattler.com. Just go punch in Texas Rattler Google. We come up number one. Where are you located? Uh, we're in Rockport. Rockport, Texas. Yes, sir. There you go. And uh, we have a new uh, dealer there. They open up a tackle kayak shop called Champions Outdoors. Nolan. And uh, it's right next to uh, Seaworthy. You can't miss it. There so you go. if you need anything local, there it is. Brother, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good seeing you, too. It's Corville. Castaway Rods. What is going on? Oh, you know, same old stuff. How you been? Selling that stuff. Okay, so what do we got here? All right. This right here is our Pro Sport CX2 series. What we did is we took our Pro Sport and our Tyrannus and we combined them together. And so you have a really good blank with really good components. It's 316 stainless steel sea guide. And uh, it's going to be gray to the first guide. So we black from there on out. It's going to be at $99.99. And we should be charging more, but the owner won't let me. There you go. And how do people get a hold of it? Uh, they can either go to our website, which is www.castawayraj.com, or then come by our shop, which is in Jersey Village. It's uh, 7449 Wright Road in Houston, Texas. Um, give us a call, 832-230-0243. Well, you should check out the second rod. Actually, it doesn't even have a name yet. All right, so what's going on here? All right, so this is, uh, I'm not sure what the name's going to be called yet. We're going <laughs> yeah. back and forth. But so this is going to be a Made in America rod. It is... Um, North Fork Blank, it's all, everything's carbon fiber, it's going to have titanium guides on it, it's going to be the Cadillac of all rods. It's going to be lightweight, sensitive, and it's going to be durable. Um, not even, we don't have a price point on this yet, but uh, it, it's going to be a... Sweet uh, looking, I'd lose gonna, it, the color though. Oh yes, yeah, isn't it nice? That's beautiful. It is an awesome rod. Um, it's, yeah, this is our new high-end rod is what this is. That's sweet, I mean, um, it's light. Also, I'm glad you're here. Um, if you go to our website and you at checkout when you're placing an order, you can use the code WTF30 and you'll get 30% off of uh, your rods and purchases. Check it out, guys. Start it off. Get on that website. Check out Castaway Rods. All right. Thank, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Orville, I know this is the booth I got to keep you away from. <laughs> We're here with Philip, Avid Anglers Jewelry Design. Philip, what's going on? Tell us what's okay. happening here. Things are going great. I've been busy. Uh, always working on trying to come up with some new ideas, sort of like my new little piece, you know, all about Texas, everything from uh, Derek Cowboy Hat Cross and uh, all of the other things that we like to do, bass, slams, and uh, just always trying to stay busy, come up with something and 
working with my customers to help you're anyway. always helping the fishing community out how do people get a hold of you where are they going to find you avid angler jewelry design and i'm on facebook with a lot of my things i'm philip thompson my page has a lot of my things and you can message me or call me and i'm always trying to come up with something custom if you need philip avid angler check him out the snapper slapper I tell you man i saw that and i was like i gotta have two or three of those who are we with you're with John, and uh, I'm with Snapper Slapper Lures. And John, hold on, John. Tell us, tell us what this object is, and you know how do we use it? This is a squid head shaped jig. We use it to catch snapper, amberjack, mahi, all kinds of different species. Grouper, all great on it. All the paint on all the heads of the different colors all glow. So they're glow head design that get down. Oh, they say glow because everybody knows you go what 150, 200 feet deep. Uh, it's dark. It's dark. And so all the paint glows. Charge them up in the sunlight and they glow for a good while. That's awesome, man. How do people get a hold of Where are you at and how do people get a hold of you? We're based out of Beaumont, Texas. You can get us on the website, snapperslapper.com. Snapperslapper.com, guys. Check these things out. you got to get one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All. Appreciate it. Leach Corville. Got Mike here with Down South Floors. I'm telling you, these guys are everywhere. Because you know us, we've been all over Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas, and bam, here they are. Mike, what's your best seller? What's going on with you guys now? So at the Houston Fishing Show, we de debuted our Big Smooth, and that's our straight tail that has a durable plastic nose and then a soft body behind it, so it swims like an eel when you reel it. It's got a lot of mid-body movement. That's been our top seller, our short shank jig heads to go with it shorter shank so you don't have so much spine going down it and, and messing up that mid-body movement of short shank those have been selling good our fluorocarbon and of course all our supermodels our coastal marsh customs originals and burner shads it's been a great show guys and uh but this is what we've debuted if y'all were looking for something new to follow these guys it's called the big smooth and it's our straight tail guys how do people get a hold of you? Where, are y'all local or website? Yeah, we're Houston area. We're out of Houston area, uh, half the time in Houston, half the time in Galveston. Y'all can go to our website. You can call us. Our number's on the back of every package. and uh, Or email us, doesn't matter. And we'll try to get you fixed up with what you need. There you go, guys. Check them out, because I'm telling you, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, thank y'all, guys. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Alicia, we're sitting here, and we're checking out line cutters and I'm telling you you got to see this product here this is the most coolest product who are we talking to my name is Vance the owner of line cutters and line cutters fishing and outdoors what do we got here I see you tied some line here what are you going to show us all right so I'll skip right to the newest product our uh, dual hybrid micro scissor uh, for those that have been following us we've got uh, we started with a ring that cuts fishing line for shark fishing on the so beach cool. Got a deal on Shark Tank. Uh, now we're up to six patents, one pending. We took that patented little design that cuts braid like butter. We stuck it in this little device. We did your typical scissor side on the other side, like Rapala, Berkeley, a lot of the other names out there. Many people make scissors. But by combining our patented ceramic blade with our serrated scissors, it'll solve one major problem. All scissors eventually will stop cutting braid. I don't care yeah, yeah. who you're talking about. This is legitimately hard to wear out. In fact, it's now used commercially on spooling stations by the manufacturer like Triangle Sports. So I'll jump right into how it works. That patented ceramic blade cutting slot has a curved blade and a bottom opposite curving deck of that slot. This is AMS fish, bow fishing braid, 200 pound test, very hard to cut. Scissors a lot of times won't cut that. I'm gonna effortlessly cut 200 pound braid like a hot knife through butter. I'm gonna cut two strands, two strands of 200 pound test braid, two strands of 200 pound braid like butter. Now here's where it gets really good. This is a very, very light braid. This is 10 pound test tight lines, one of the thinnest braids available. And I can't even tell you, I could barely even feel it cut. <laughs> Now, if you look closely at that end, there's not a single hair coming off of that, and it's not squeezed like pliers or using a knife. So these cutters with that ceramic, it'll never rust. I can't cut my skin. And if I want to trim my mono or my fluoro, I now have my scissors to trim my double uni knots and my oh mono my and fluoro when I'm done. 
I put it on my hat when I wade fish or kayak fish. A lot of deck hands now use these. They put it on a retractor or I can put it on a lanyard, my power pole or trolling motor lanyard. So this one first best cutting tool at iCast and uh, this is what we're really focusing on at the show. How cool is that, Alicia? All right, so where are you located? You're, you're, you're in... Uh, we are in West Columbia, West Texas, Columbia. and I remember, so I'm, I'm a fan of your show, oh, and you. I remember you were thinking about coming out to see us, and life happens. We are going to make it happen. So we will have another anniversary this coming March. It'd be fun to have you either this year yeah, or next yeah, okay. year. Yep, and uh, West Columbia is about 50 minutes south of Houston. Got a really cool kayak shop down there, offshore, inshore, freshwater, fly fishing. It's it's pretty awesome. Website, phone number? So www.linecutterswithaz.com. We're on Amazon in 12 countries. I know you have some international followers. So if you're in Canada, Mexico, European countries, you can order on Amazon as well. If you order from our site, we, we usually recommend ordering with your local dealer first. Shop local, support your local dealers. 70% of your dollar will stay in your community. If your local dealer doesn't have line cutters, order from our site. That's where we make more money than Amazon. So There you go, guys. Checking out <laughs> line cutters. I'm telling you, this is awesome. Thank you, brother. All right, man. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alicia Corville. Yes. I know. Everybody's on me about when are we getting married. So here it goes, guys. Alicia Corville, will you marry me? Hey, it's cheaper than a real ring, it's, it's, but, and it cuts line way better. It's unbelievable. What do you think, Alicia? I love it. <laughs> Bam! Alicia Corville, another... Don't stop fishing in your backyard, and let's get out and find new places to fish. Steve, oh my gosh, I didn't even know you were here. Tell us a little bit about what you've got going on. You're in Costa Rica, right? Yes, sir. Capos, Costa Rica. We have a lodge in Manuel Antonio, Costa Rica as well that everybody stays at. Three boats in the marina. I have the best captains in the marina working for us. And uh, we put on one heck of a uh, vacation for you to come down and fish. Packages. What packages do you offer? I can, I cuss, that's the beauty of the whole thing. I make the package for what the customer needs. So some people want to come down and fish three or four days. Some people don't want to come fish one day and they want to go waterfall tours or, uh, you know, monkey tours or whatever. So I help facilitate anything they want to do. How do people get a hold of you? Where can they find you? Yes, we're on Facebook, Hoyland's Adventures. And uh, my phone number is 832-526-4917. There you go, anglers. Just get those. Come on down to Costa Rica. I'll tell go you, fishing. get your spouses together. Y'all get together and let's go vacationing, man. Yeah, that's hey, right. and invite us. Exactly. <laughs> Appreciate exactly. it, brother. Yes, sir. Nice talking to you. Give me. Alicia Corville. Look at this beautiful lady right here. Outcast fishing charters. Oh, my God. Tell us, last time we talked to you, y'all were just starting this new venue. Uh, well, it's not what, what body of water is that? It's right off 61st Street. That's right. We are in off its bayou on 61st Street wow. between the seawall and 45. And um, yeah, a new horizon has hit our family. So now we not only do fishing charter trips and sell monster fishing and monster hunting apparel, we're also in a venue business. So um, we added lodging upstairs so our fishermen can stay upstairs and then walk downstairs to go fishing. But we also are renting that space out uh, upstairs for up to 30 people. Um, you can have a bridal shower, a family reunion, a birthday party. Um, or a and, wedding. Or, or a, we, we, a wedding can be for 150 <laughs> people on the main floor down wow, there. 150 but, people. It must be yeah. big. Yeah, it's, a, it's lovely. It's lovely. So we're excited. And uh, Papa Sharky retired recently and to do the, the venue full time. So he's jumping in with both jumping feet. Jumping in. <laughs> so you also do charters, too, offshore we, and inshore charters? B- both offshore and inshore. Uh-huh. Departing right out of there off its bayou. How do people get a hold of you? What can they find you? Uh, outcast Fishing Charters. That's fishing with no G, charters with an S dot com. Um, or 979-248-1529. I will answer the phone. <laughs> there you go. Check them out, guys. I tell you, the place is awesome. Oh, thanks, guys. It's a monster. Good seeing you. Hey, hey. Alicia Corville, Eagles Point Fishing Camp. Eagle. 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 What did I keep saying? Eagles. Eagles. <laughs> yeah, it's plural. But listen, man, Eagle Point Fishing Camp. You know, guys, it's not just a fishing camp anymore, right? I mean, there's, there's. Uh, RV, there's there's a, a place to rent, a lodge. I mean, what is going on now at Eagle, Eagle Point? Eagle Point. Eagle Point Fishing Camp established in Galveston 
County, Galveston Bay, since 1929. Um, boat storage, boat slips, RV park, RV rental to sleep in. Bring your boat, come to sleep. A big house to rent right next door. You just walk across the parking lot, come fishing. Um, full service guide service, full service marina, all the bay, gasoline, ice, whatever you need for your day on the water. And a three boat, a three lane boat ramp with ample parking and secure, yeah. which it makes a big deal. That's our go to place, man. I'm telling you. Um, how do people, where, where, where can they find it online? Is there a website, yeah. uh, Facebook page? EaglePointFishingCamp.com and the telephone number is 281 339 1131. Buddy? Hey, good to see you. Good Don't to we see do you. it? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's, since last Wednesday. It's been great. Uh, hey, since guys, last Monday. Get your boat in over there and uh, hey, grab that lodge, man. Make a weekend out of it. Yeah, make a weekend, make a week. Eagle Point Fishing Camp, RV, Marina, Boat Storage. I mean, I mean, you got a million names. Yeah. See you, brother. Oh, thank you. Oh, Alicia Corville, we're, we're actually in Louisiana now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, here's our Louisiana brothers. Uh, Paradise Charters, Captain Phil Broussard, Captain Kevin. What do we want to start off? Let's start off with Pop because yeah. he's got seniority, I think. What's going on, man? How's it going? Uh, I tell you what, this fishing show has been fantastic this year. We want to appreciate everybody that came out because it's actually, we've been coming for 20 years, one of the best shows ever. I mean, it's just phenomenal for the people that keep coming back. And it's all people that we've seen before. We love seeing them, you know. But Kevin knows about the fishing, though, because, boy, we had people out in this bad weather today. It was unbelievable. I know. They, I'm telling you, it could be no water, right? It could be no water out there and wind blowing 80 miles an hour. And there's going to be two guys on the end of a pier fishing, right? They're, they're gonna, they love to fish. So tell us a little bit about that. Y'all y'all have a lodge there in Hackberry, right? We have the Cajun Paradise Charters Lodge. We've been there for 39 years. Kevin's been guiding for all 39 years. And our lodge sleeps nine. And we also have four other lodges for the big group because we do a lot of big, cor a lot of corporate groups. And we have uh, fishing only, day trip, or we have lodging, meals, and fishing. We also do the cast and blast in the wintertime when we just finished up. And so uh, whatever they want, we do. A lot of people go to casinos, stay there, and just come day fishing. Yeah. So, uh, Captain Kevin. Broussard, tell us a little bit about, I mean, you not only fish, you're kind of like a little celebrity, right? I mean, you do commercials for certain companies. You Y'all y'all have a show, right? Yes, sir. We have, we have the Outdoors and Fishing TV show, which is shown on uh, Bali Sports Southwest Network. And, uh, of course, Dad's been doing that forever, and I started young and uh, just kind of picked it up. And then, of course, we do some outdoor reports for, uh, for Let's Fish. And, uh, you know, basically, but I still try to fish... 120, 150 days a year, and I duck hunt at least 45 every year. So, I'm out. I'm in the outdoors. So if I call you, uh, what am I? What do I have to tell you? What I'm gonna, what I want to target? Are you just? Is it one set target thing or what? No, it. it and honestly, the weather will dictate it because I do get some people say, "Man, look, I only want to try to catch trout. I hate redfish." Well, that day, the wind may be blowing 25 or 30, and the water's dirty. And I said, "Look, we'll go fish for trout for an hour or two, and if it ain't happening." We're gonna to have to go do something else. So I, the biggest thing is just to try to accommodate everybody, and then at the end of the day, you want to have a good box of fish and be sure they had a good time. So, so you you got a Facebook page, a website? Yes, we have both out. of it, and it's a uh, Cajun Paradise Charters. Got it on the Facebook and on uh, on the web. But it's just like real quick talking about fishing in the bad weather and the cold today. It was 37 in Hackberry with a northeast wind blowing around 20. I had a boat go out, just heard back from him. At 8.30, didn't have a bite. Started moving around, and all the water had dropped out the marshes. The little canals were sitting there, pulled up, and caught like 25, 30 redfish without moving the boat. Yeah. Customers had a great time, and he's like, okay, we're cold enough, we've caught enough, let's go. Oh, yeah. Ain't that something? You know, yep. guys, we go out to Hackberry two or three times a year, man, and, and, and if you've never been to Hackberry, you're probably going, Hackberry, what, what is Hackberry? How do I get to Hackberry, right? You're off of 27? Yep, 27 south. Uh, I think it's exit 20 off of I-10 in Sulphur. Or you can come along the coast, go to Port Arthur, and then come along Johnson Bayou, and then take a left up there at Holly Beach. But uh, 
from Houston, it's roughly a two and a half it's hour drive. It's not far at all. No, yeah. no. Yeah, that's far. to the lodge. Yeah, guys, y'all got to come check out. You want to go get a bunch of guys together, your family, so you need to come check these guys out. I guarantee you, you'll have the best time. And Hackberry is just a beautiful place, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just yes, the marsh. I mean, it's just crazy. Remember, our motto is come and get you some. That's right. That's right. Give us Look a call. 337 540 Cajun Paradise Charters. Check them out. Thank you. Back in Louisiana again. We're back in Louisiana. We got Aaron here, Four Horsemen Tackle. Finally, we get to meet. Tell us what is going on. I'm telling you, there's some tackles that we see because we cover Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. Aaron, your place, your stuff is everywhere. I mean, this stuff is everywhere. Tell us what's going on with these courts. Right. Um, for the last couple of years, we've been doing pretty well with our normal uh, heavy gauge stainless steel water cork. But now, out new this year is a new titanium blend cork. Ah. What's cool about it is it's not crimped. It's twisted. So you don't have to worry about it slipping or breaking off. And you still have the ability to bend it in half, and it goes right back and still makes that great sound. So redfish eats it. Somebody throws in the rocks, gets all bent up. Doesn't matter. It comes back straight. How cool is that? And That's you got the bright colors. I mean, you're... Yeah. Yeah, this is our Pro Series, and uh, it's great for live bay, plastics, great great all-around cart. How do people get a hold of you? You got a website, oh, yeah. phone number? Yep, fourhorsemantackle.com. Guys, you got to check this stuff out. Go on his website, look at his product. Aaron, finally, good to meet All you, right, brother. Appreciate Keep it. up the good work. All right. Alicia Corville, here we are. If you ever wanted to know about prompts, check it out. Mike Hoods. Who do we have here? Mike Hood. Mr. Hood right Senior. here. Senior. So he's the man. Two grandsons hey. plan on taking it over, I hope. Tell us about your business. I mean, apparently you've been around. Well, 60 years. 60 years you've been doing props. All right. I'm, let's say, and I am, I'm not going to say let's say, I have nothing, I, lo- I know nothing about props. Explain a little bit about pitch. Why would I want to change a pitch on a, on a, on a, on a motor or a lower unit? Is there a certain reason why I'm, I'm changing a pitch? To keep the RPMs right, you need, to, you need to be able to run the top RPMs on your engine. Okay. If you're not running it, you know, you're hurting the engine. Would, if, a, would a pitch have anything to do with maybe me trying to get up quicker? If I'm yes. if, if you do if you're shallow water, you usually run a four blade prop or a real low three bladed prop with a lot of cup. Makes you get up quicker, holds Thanks. better. Not as fast as a as a three blade. Not as fast as a, a boat without a tunnel. So you just yeah, you know, that's why you do that. If you're high performance, you run a higher rake angle. Uh-huh. Makes the nose of the boat get up. Right. And you know, takes off slower, but it, it runs faster on top end. So what all do we do at Mike Hood? You just sell props? Do you work on them? Do you sell, repair, do lower unit welding stuff like that? We we don't do any mechanical work. Okay. So if there's a certain is there a certain prop out now that's that's like hitting the market going crazy, or is everything kind of staying the same? Kind of staying the same. They've got some some props that came out that they advertise in the magazine, but people can't afford them hardly. You know. Yeah, that's the problem with a lot of stuff. Everything's getting <laughs> well, so all expensive. Of them, all of them. Yeah, you got to. It's crazy. You got to put a loan on on a prop. But yeah. uh, so where are you? You're in Houston, Texas. You got one just one shop. Yes, sir. How can people get a hold of you if they want to see anything? You got a website, a Facebook page. Yeah, we've got a website, Mike Hood Propeller Service. Dot com. And, yeah. And what about a phone number? So they can call. Seven one three six four nine seven five zero eight. Guys, who who isn't tearing up a prop these days, right? Mr. Hood, nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Come check him out, guys. Girls, I'm telling you, man. Philip Tackle Company, check out these corks, dude. I'm telling you, this is so bright over here. It's like almost, you got to have sunshades. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy. I love these corks. What do you got going on new that you just got, uh, that you're just showing uh, today? Uh, we came out with the Atom Pop. That's uh, a little different than what we're used to. It's a solid plastic. That is uh, cool. Hardened 304 stainless wire so it holds up better. Shorter throw so it's not quite as... Right. Uh, have to get bent. 16 millimeter on bottom. Take a beating. It's good for jetty fishing, rocks, anything like that. And it's got the pop. Yeah. And then we've got our 
our normal woody court, balsa wood popping court. So how do people get a hold of you? Where, I mean, where can they find you? Your website? Your... They can get us on the website at phillipstackleco.com. And number? we have all of a... our numbers. Uh, and you got, a, you got a phone number people can call? No, we don't have a phone number. We just have a website. Just we go to the go website. To, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, you've got some cool product. Guys, they got they got the pink, the orange, they got the green. I mean, they got every. What about what about some of the other stuff you carry? Uh, started making uh, stringers, bogo floats, keychain floats. Um, probably the newest one we came out with was the five foot kayak stringer. Yeah. Our kayak guys like that. Uh, it's a little shorter. It doesn't get caught up in your drive on the pedal drives. Phillips Tackle Company, guys, you got to check them out online. This is some of the coolest stuff. And also produces. Hey, good seeing you. Good to see you. Friday. There's a new group, national group, called Safer Boater. And Safer Boater is uh, uh, hiring uh, master captains to teach their National Safe Boating Council on the water classes. This is the only Coast Guard approved class uh, on the water. And um, they're uh, rolling it out throughout the nation. And uh, I'm forming a new company, uh, Boat Safe Texas, uh, just to uh, roll out this NSBC or National Safe Boating Council uh, on the water instruction. There's four modules. Uh, modules one and two are close quarters, docking and maneuvering. Uh, <laughs> and modules three and four are open water. The class is taught on the new boat owner's boat and Safer Boater provides the insurance and the logistic and scheduling training for um, uh, this program. So if you're a, a master captain, uh, contact me, Robert Campbell, uh, at www.capt-roys.com, caproys.com. And I'll give you some more information about it. Can you take a picture of my card here? Let's see. That'll work. There's my business card. All right. We're looking for master captains to teach this new course from saferboater.org, Boat Safe Texas. And we are in the 16 state region uh, governed by uh, Boat Safe Great Lakes. Thank y'all very much. Now, wait a minute. You said, now this isn't, this safety course isn't mandatory yet but it could become mandatory in the future. Well, on the East Coast, uh, there's several, what happened was there are several uh, uh, fatality and uh, injury accidents over the last three years since COVID. And uh, current thinking is that insurance companies, dealers and manufacturers will be um, requiring this class if you're gonna finance or or insure your vessel on new boat purchase. You, right. Yeah. So once again, how can they get to go to your website? My website? Uh, well, here it is up here. Caproys.com and there's our phone number. Brother, appreciate Thank y'all WTF for helping us out. You guys are always spreading the news. Thank you, brother. Thank you now. Alicia, check it out. Where's Captain Cody here? Cody, you got a bunch of things going on. Last time we met you, there was an event with some kids down there at Sea Star Base, yes, where sir. I think that's one of the places you do a lot of your work. Yes. But tell us what you got a lot of new things going on now. Yep. Got some new, and you know, in the past, what I've done is uh, I've taken 3,500 people with severe disabilities fishing, uh, 1,500 veterans. I've taught around 20,000 kids in the Galveston, Houston area how to fish, mostly low income kids. And on the kids thing, I'm just starting an after-school fishing program. I think kind of the first of its kind around here. Uh, I've got with Ball High School. It took about a year to get it approved, but I'm with Ball High School. And I'm teaching an after-school fishing program through them. Um, I'm helping with the Hitchcock. They have an after-school fishing program also. I donated 27 rods to them last year. And then at the end of the year this year in May, we're going to have the first ever I guess high school saltwater fishing tournament, oh, cool. Hitchcock versus Ball High School. Oh, that's going to be yeah, awesome. Yeah, so I'm excited. That gives me chill bumps I'll talking about that. it, you know. Cool. So uh, next year, I've talked a little bit to Santa Fe and Alvin and Texas City um, Central School in Galveston and Odyssey School in Galveston. So um, I'm going to try to get all them schools together. I'm going to teach them all throughout the year, and then I'm going to have it be like a 10 school high school saltwater fishing tournament. The, 
freshwater guys have been doing it for years, you know, so I think it's time to get the kids in the saltwater fishing, get them off the streets and oh, yeah. get, them, get them on the water. Get them on the water. Yes, sir. So how can people want to find out more about what yeah. you got going on? I have a website, Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures, and Facebook, Instagram. I have a, a, a page, Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures, on Facebook. It just kind of keeps an update of what's going on with my stuff, too. And, and I'm doing a cruise, too, so... Uh, my oh, buddy, yeah. Arthur Hermits, he's got 777 Travel, and he's been trying to find a way to raise money for my nonprofit. So uh, we're doing a Cruising for a Cause with Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures, and we have, so far right now, 67 fishermen oh, going to the Belize, I think, for uh, June 15th to June 20th. And uh, you gotta you got to register through him to be a part of the cruise Does or whatever. Does he have a website? Or, I mean, how can they find That's on Facebook and Instagram, face? and okay. it's on 777 Travel website also. But, uh, yeah, we got 67 people going fishing. we got four boats rented once we get over there. We're going to go marlin fishing once we're over there. Oh, and it's That's so much all fun. crazy Galveston fishermen, so it's going to be yeah, a, be a hoot, good time, man. I think. So. <laughs> hey, go online, yeah. check his website out, guys, the Facebook page, and see what he's got going on. Brother, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank good luck, man. Keep up the good work, everything yeah, you're thank doing. You, thank, you. thank you guys for doing such a great job. I've been watching your podcast a little bit here. Appreciate it. Too, appreciate so. it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Mr. Corville, we're just walking around, and look who we bump into. It's the man himself. Chicken board lures. Oh my God, brother. How you been? Y'all here at the uh, Undertaker School? The Undertaker School. Actually, somebody's got to teach us how to fish, man. We heard you. Welcome man. to the Houston 50 Show. You know, this is the 49th one. Right, yeah. And next year, you know what comes after that? What comes after 49? I, mean, I haven't seen 50 in so long. I know. It's going to be unbelievable. Hey, listen. This show has been off that's the what charts. I, that's what I heard. That's what I, but what do you got going on? I heard you got some new things. I got all kinds uh, of new things. I got this right here, the gold is, shrimp. It's my number one four-inch lure. Come you on could, over here. On you over. could actually wear that as an earring. That's because, Alicia's go-to. I know. Stinky Pinky. You were, you were covering your phone's pink. Stinky Pinky, this oh, marinade to smell this. In cherry-flavored oh. CBD oil, it gives fish the munchies. I'm telling you, you have to smell that, guys. I know we, you can't smell it on the video, but you can't smell it on the video? No, you can't you, smell it, but I'm telling you, it's amazing. Download the app where you can smell but it on the video. You can't scratch and sniff. But listen, I want to thank you again for allowing me to name this lure in your honor. It's a, one of my Bubba Cluckers. It's got red, gold, and silver glitter, and I named it in your honor. It's a little three-inch lure. It's called the Speckle Pecker. <laughs> there you go, and man. Alicia, you got to get that. I named it in your honor. I named two in your honor. Right here, here's the Hoochie Mama. The other one, Your Honor, Miss Temptation. Miss Temptation. But y'all need, the show closes at six today. And it's, it's, yesterday was like a zoo. And about an hour from now, it's gonna be the zoo city too. So how can people find you on the internet? Phone number, I wish that lady would quit staring at me, but go ahead. Who, how do they, do, how do they get a hold of you? What, what, you like my lady? She goes, stop it, staring it, at it me. It costs me a lot of money to make her, <laughs> to make her look that cheap, okay? Delicious fix her. Chickenboylures.com. Chickenboylures.com. Got a phone number? 281-924-6739. That's 281-924-6739. Guys, you got to get over here. you got to, not over here at the fish show, but because you're everywhere. Um, where are you going to be next? Is there somewhere you're going to be next? Yeah, I'm going to be in bed tonight. Where are you going to be? The bed tonight. You but nobody can go to your bed to buy lures. Oh, chickenboylures.com. Online. That's the only place you, every, one guy has them all. Get them online. online. Okay. Check him out online, guys. Girls, and then get you some of this stuff. Uh, I guarantee you they're gonna catch you some fish. Thank you.